Okay, you're on. Yeah. Okay. So, I told you I was going to have to jerry-rig an end to this. And so I, uh, this is a piece of crap from the junkyard that I cut a piece out of. Basically, I didn't make you watch that because to me that kind of shit's boring because you're going to have to figure out your own crap to do your own thing with. But it, basically, I cut it, I bent it, oh, and I now see. it's stuck up in there, yeah, okay? It, it ended up a and I cut a hole because I decided it would be easier to use this piping oh, that's like the so. And then that'll carry it to the tank, I hope. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to show you a simple hack. If you're like me, 99% of the time, you have to do shit completely by yourself. This means you're hanging by your toes and figuring shit out. When you're trying to measure something, but there's no way of measuring like what I'm doing right now, you need to be able to handle it with both hands and figure things out. But how do you do that? How do you hold up a 25 foot piece of what you're trying to use for guttering. So I'm going to show you very simply what I do. First off, i got to change the bit in my machine. Of course. Of course, always. Um, but I think my screws actually have them in there. The bit's actually with the screws. Here's a neat little trick if you can remember to do it, which apparently I did not. Oh yeah, there it is. Keep your bits with the screws oh, so that exactly way right it's one. right ones you need okay so talk about some guesstimation what happened to that stick i had a minute ago did i leave that in the fucking house no you brought it out with you i don't know I don't see it. it's there on the on the barbecue grill. okay okay so whenever you got to do it over your head not that you sick fox <laughs> I always like to start it first on the ground. If this cracks, I don't care. It doesn't have to hold much weight. And it didn't crack, because of course I didn't care. The minute <laughs> I would have cared, I would have put that screw in that fucking little piece of furring strip would have cracked all the motherfucking shit. Because that's life. So you're putting two in there? Yeah. I don't have to, but I am. Okay. So, I need to hold the end of that so I can see where it's gonna come out so that I can figure it all out. Now, because I'm putting it in at a sharp angle to run from here down there as much, I kinda need to figure that sharp angle out. And the only way I'm gonna be able to figure that out, ooh, there's a little wasp nest. I had bit by a wasp yesterday. Oh, by the way, so I'm doing all this hacked out shit with garbage. Can you see a picture of my hand? Here's what my hand's supposed to look like. That's what the wasp did to it yesterday. I it's really, really badly it. People swollen. People whine and cry about the damnedest things. Like, what you the fuck up? Okay, so you're you're screwing it into the bottom of one of the. Yeah, there's a stud there. I'm just screwing. It. I'm not even screwing these in all the way because I don't want them all the way. I actually need that flatter than that, though, motherfucker. Of course. But then just... Okay. What that's going to do is that's going to hold the end of that guttering so I can crawl up on the other side and put in one screw. <laughs> All of that. Welcome to my life. Also, I should point out, I didn't do it for you, but see how that's propped up there on my um, wheelbarrow? That's because I use my wheelbarrow all the time like a mobile um, sawhorse. Got it. Okay, I'm going to try to make a guess on here. so that I don't have to do this 50 times. Go up and down, up and down. I'm gonna try to make a guess where this screw's gonna go. 
And once again, I'm filming her ass. She's That's she's putting a That's she's putting a hole. What a freaking gas! Because what I've got to do is get it up there, and then figure out how much boarding I'm going to need to put under it in order to get it to actually flow out. And it's just you. The fastener has a washer on it, so it doesn't leak against the building. Oh my god! Yeah. Everybody knows. Everyone doesn't know that, Selena. <laughs> Damn it, Len! <laughs> Let go of my ears! I know what I'm doing! Back up so you have room. Okay, so here's the fun part. I'm going to move this damn thing out so I can get the ladder where I need it. Oh, by the way, my favorite thing is hanging by my fucking heels trying to do shit 50 foot in the fucking air. Or even in this thing, 8 foot in the damn air. In case you didn't catch that, she's being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody's a fucking moron. Honey. <laughs> Just so you know. All right. So this is literally I'm having to do this by the seat of my pants and guess and where shit's gonna come out because again, I'm doing shit that you shouldn't be doing with crap that shouldn't work. Yes, that's right on the stud if that's what you're looking for. And no, that's not what you're looking for. Okay. No, I'm just looking to hold it temporarily so I can get the motherfucker. Now, actually, I don't know if I'm going to have to put wood underneath that. That might be nice. That might be good enough. Okay, so I got one in it. It's a little twisted at the end. That's just going to fucking run right the hell out. Hmm. It's, Let's see what happens when I get it over When here. you get it straightened, yeah. Yeah. When I get it straightened and tied. Okay. I meant to do that! <laughs> Don't you judge me, Jared! <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm all... I'm a fucking old woman. What the hell do you want? Okay, so I need to take that down. Take that board down, of mm -hmm. course. Of course you do. Well, what I may be able to do is release it enough to let it down on the bottom part of it. Right, because it was slanting I'm a lot. dropping on my head. Hopefully. Don't do this at home! <laughs> Don't do it yourself. Do you want to crawl up the ladder and help no, me? No, no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm doing that over my head in case it falls or fall on my head. Yeah. It's a plan, people. All right. Let's see. Of course. Hanging by your heels. Yeah. Definitely going downhill, so we're good. Yay! Right. Okay, so I'll have her come back in a little while after I figure out. So I'm definitely going to have to put a board in at the bottom of that to twist it back up. I may have to do it all the way along, so we will see. Okay, where'd you go? Okay, so there it is. This piece, it turns out. 
Lynn will come over here now. Turns out this piece, I cut a hole for it. I left that hanging down so I can attach the thing to it. I'm going to put this right in here. Okay. And it's going to set on this piece of wire. Now, why did I use this screen? It looks like it's all rusty because that's not screen wire. That is grating off of a, that you put in front of a fireplace that somebody threw away. In fact, if she'll turn around, you can see that. And I cut it to use because it's going to last a good long time because it's not just screen. What I'm going to try to do, and this is one of those I'm going to tell you guys, and then if it doesn't work, I'm going to pretend like it did. <laughs> okay, see those marks? Okay, now this piece I'm going to cut out because that's the sideways. But this one, I'm going to try to cut it and then heat this edge and fold it up so that it keeps it from falling through. So uh -huh. we'll see how that works. So this is the roto tool. By the way, other people can get a good straight line with this. Other people aren't me. blow dryer mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to heat that edge with that. Did you I, cut that one piece? No I didn't. But thanks for pointing it out before I could turn it around and pretend like I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I suck. Damn it Lynn! I suck. I suck. If I can use, first off, I have used it for a heat gun, but not for stuff so thick. This is PVC, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, it's a lot of plastic sawdust. <laughs> oh, pretty, pretty. That sucks. What the hell did I do with that blow dryer? Just I'll get it. Oh, it's right here. Damn it, Lynn! You put it somewhere where I didn't know where it was! Of course I did. You're always doing that. Yes, of course I did. I'm so talented. Put it on high heat. Put it on high blow, too. Boy, that is an old one. It's hardly going. It's probably not going to do shit because it's... It gets hot enough for the head. <laughs> it's 400 years old. It's still hanging out the edge of it. I don't know how to keep that up. It would help if it was actually getting hot. You want the old, the new hair dryer? No, I don't want the new hair dryer. I want to tear the old new one up. We probably got rid of this because of it. We better get rid of it. Uh -huh. Well, if that heated up, it would work. It's not going to work. Okay. So. I don't think. I don't think it's going to heat up. Anyway, go away and come back and I'll tell you whether it worked or not. Okay, I'm here. Okay. So, the, uh, the blow dryer only partially worked, but I was able to, and that's what I'm doing right now, I was able to bend it using a combination of just bending it and the heat from the blow dryer. But obviously, at some point, it would be nice to in a heat gun. Okay, so that's all put together. And yes, it's like, oh my god, that's going to leak like a sieve. No, it's not, because I still have silicone. <laughs> 
I have a lot, but I think I have just enough to fill all the cracks. I'm going to take a picture of this on the end. Okay. Well, and I've got something to show. Okay, so while I was up there screwing that down, I dropped the screw. And to show you that this is going to catch anything and keep big stuff out of this tank, here's that screw. Aha! Uh -huh. It came right down and popped off of there. Cool. So it should, it should just pour right through there and fill. So now I'm going to start caulking the crap out of that. And then hopefully we'll get part, if not all, of the water. Well, we'll get a whole lot more than we're getting now, which is none. Exactly. And it's just running. Every time you go in the shop when it's raining, you get drenched. I've been going to do this for a long time, but it's always been at the bottom of the project list. Which, that's what happens, isn't it? You put stuff at the bottom of the project list, and you do that, and you do that, and you do that, and everything else takes priority until the time when you're like, you either like me right now, you have some time. This is a quick project I can do. And so you're like, why did you do this before if it's so quick? Well, first off, I got the tank, and then, not unlike everything else around here, the shit at the fan, and there was no money to buy the more expensive part, which was the guttering. And I kept saying, I don't want to do it chicken shit, I want to do it the right way. And like most things in my life, if I do that, they just don't get done. So I can either do them half-assed and with garbage, or I cannot do them at all. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to end this with showing you how much water's in that tank if we get a rain. And hopefully we're gonna get a damn rain because otherwise tomorrow I gotta haul water. <laughs> okay, thank you and until next time, don't be a douchebag. Have that happen, you think you're finished with something but you're not? Well, remember that I'm mostly I'm trying to get the shit out of my shop and use it up. Well, it dawned on me that I could use those two little pieces of guttering that I had left from that the project over there where I hooked up the water system and I could run them down into here and lo and behold I now have guttering on this whole side of the building. Now there's a little hole because of course this is triangle shaped and this is rounded off on the bottom actually flat on the bottom. So remember I told you that I keep those little pieces of styrofoam packing stuff well, what I'm about to do is slide this piece in there and then silicone the living shit on it. Oh, into that triangle space. Uh-huh. I'm taking the knife with me in case it's not the right size. Okie dokie. Well, because you should always walk on ladders with knives. Of course you should. Or while juggling chainsaws. <laughs> Don't be a puss. <laughs> I know, so politically incorrect. Okay, so let's see if I got it the first time. Oh my God, I got it right the first time. So now I just have to pull it back out of there, which can sometimes be a hassle. <laughs> you say, well, that's not gonna fit. So let me just shove it in there. Shut up, you <laughs> sick bastards. <laughs> I don't know why everybody's gonna think everything is something dirty. Then they blame it on me. I'm not that dirty. Oh man. Okay, so wash your fingers and hope I'm gonna have enough silicone. You're covering the end with silicone and you're gonna shove it in there and it'll silicone and all then around I'll silicone it. Silicone all around it. And then I will silicone the other end. If I have enough. If not, we'll pretend like this is enough. Oh, it's so perfect I can't stand it. I wish you had a picture of it, but you don't. I can't see you that. Hand up it there. to me and I'll take it. Hand me okay, just thing. don't touch any of the buttons on the side. Oh, don't touch anything, I know. I know, I don't even know what I'm Whoa. You're upside down. I'm upside down. Oh, I'm upside down. Uh, there you go. Okay, there it is. Look at that. It does well wait a minute. Can you see it yet? No, no. There it is. Look at that. It's fucking perfect. Watch your and, left thumb. Uh, just take it. I probably turned it off or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you guys again. And until next time. 
It ain't trash if you can use it. Okay. So we ended up with about an inch of rain. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's over a third, not quite a half full with just an inch of rain. And not all of the water went in here because it is going out the other side as well. Selena is talking seriously about adding another catchment system on the other side of the shop. Anyway, though, this is awesome. If we start getting some decent rain, it's going to be full and she'll be able to have the overflow and everything else that she wants eventually. Thank you.